Good morning. Oh man, I'm just getting up there, guys. Getting ready. Okay. Good morning. Welcome to the Tessie Juice Show. Oh, this one's not. You can't see my hair. You gotta gotta get my hair did in there. Um. All right. Welcome to the show. Today's juice is awesome and exciting. Uh, a hydration station, if you will. Um, you know what? I'm actually really curious to see how it's going to turn out because um, I've never juiced this combo before. We're getting into new grounds here. We're covering new ground. Um, but it's all ingredients that I really love. And um, I think it's just going to be a great combo when we put them together. So, what are we juicing today? If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. My Instagram handle is Tessa McFabulous with two B's. Uh, just like my last name, but fabulous. More fabulous. <laughs> but anyways, I post the ingredients the day before on my Instagram story so that you can juice along with me or so you can um, have the ingredients and juice after the show. Um, so, but anyways, if you didn't, if you don't know that, our ingredients today are two limes, Ooh. an Asian pear, green grapes, parsley, and kale. Now today I chose lacinado kale, which is also called dino kale. It looks um, like what you would imagine the skin of a dinosaur to look like. It's like bumpy and um, looks like, like lizard skin almost. Um, but this one is very, it's probably like the darkest of the kales. And I really like this one a lot to juice because it's easier, the juicer has an easier time with it. It's not so like fluffy and bulky that you have to like jam it through the juicer. So this um, is more slick. It's good. So let's talk about what we are juicing today and the benefits. So with lime, I chose to do two limes today. Um, it, this is a rarity for me. I don't normally do more than one citrus at all. But um, I wanted this to be more like a mild um, limeade, almost. So like lemonade, um, we're going to have the sweetness from the grapes and the um, Asian pear, but also the coconut water. Oh, I forgot to say, oh, we're putting coconut water in it, too. The coconut water is going to make it more mellow. It's going to take out that really kick of the um, all the lime, but um, it's going to smooth it out. Uh, and make it really, I think, a nice combination. If you don't really like tart things, do one lime. If you really are opposed to tart things, do half of a lime. But today we're going to venture out, we're going to be bold, we're going to do two, two limes. So limes are super high in your vitamin C daily recommended intake. One lime has 32% of your daily value. So, well, that's probably included, like, if you eat the pulp. We're going to do, a, we're going to have a little bit of the pulp in the juice because um, we're going to juice it by hand. So, it's probably 25% what we're going to do today. But we're doing two limes. So, what's about 50% of your vitamin C just from the lime alone in this juice? Um, limes are also high in antioxidants. They boost your immune, he immune health, and they also boost your digestive system health. Limes are really good. I have, I use probably one lime in almost every juice that I do, or lemon, but usually lime. Parsley. Parsley is high in vitamin A. Vitamin A is for eye health. High in vitamin C, immune system health. High in vitamin K, which is really important for blood clotting and bone health. And actually, parsley has a ridiculous amount of vitamin K in it, like, um, one study that I was reading was saying that it has over 500% of your daily recommended intake of vitamin K. Um, very cool. 
parsley is also high in antioxidants and good for your eyes as well, the vitamin A. All right, kale is very nutrient dense, um, high in vitamin C and K as well. So that's going to be immune health, bone health, blood health. Antioxidants, lowers your cholesterol, it's an immune booster, and it's good for your bones, nails, and hair. That's that vitamin K again. Um, so, so far this juice is already super high in vitamin C, A, and K, like most green juices. Today I wanted to do a green juice because I feel like the last couple juices that I've made have been very colorful and bright. And to be very true to myself, I drink a lot of green juice, so um, so I wanted to make a green juice today. And no, I did not match my outfit to the juice today, which I couldn't couldn't come up with something green. So I thought I would just be as colorful as I could. <laughs> so okay, let's talk about the ingredients that are new to the show today: coconut water, green grapes, and Asian pear. All super powerhouse. Um, ingredients. Coconut water, which most of you yogis know, it's a great natural replacement for a sports drink. Uh, way better for you, and I think way better tasting, personally, than Gatorade. Um, it makes it, it's because of the, um, the benefits of coconut water, it makes it a really solid match for Gatorade. And it's natural, you know, like no scientists were in a, you know, laboratory concocting it, it came from Mother Earth, which is the best scientist ever. Um, okay, so it's very high in potassium. Eight ounces of coconut water has the same amount of potassium as banana. So this is 17.5 um, ounces. So we're going to use probably about half of this. So what we're going to use in the juice today is um, going to be equivalent to a banana in potassium. It's also high in calcium and magnesium. So the one thing that it doesn't really have that sports drinks do have um, is sodium. So, but a lot of times people are already overboard in sodium anyway. So um, it's a good rival for Gatorade. Ditch your Gatorade. There's a bunch of junk in it. Um, Asian pear, let's move on. Uh, otherwise known as an apple pear. And if you've ever, if you've never had one of these before, um, I highly suggest getting one. You're gonna be kind of obsessed with them. They have the texture of an apple, but they taste like a pear. So you can juice them. If you buy like regular pears um, at the grocery store, they are not gonna juice very well because they're too, um, they're gonna turn like into applesauce, pretty much. It's gonna be like a like a viscous um, texture. You, and you want juice to be like liquidy. So if you want the pear taste, get Asian pears. You will notice that they're kind of expensive. Um, they're like, I think like 247 a pound, something like that. So this pear alone was like close to $2. But it's very worth it, when, especially when I started um, researching it. Some great benefits. Um, basically, it's moisture. It's moisture for your whole body. They moisturize dry skin. Really good for your skin health. They moisturize your lungs. And they help with loss of voice, which Asian pears are, should be super popular right now, especially with... Um, all the COVID stuff, because a lot of it they were saying is um, like a symptom is a dry cough. So, and they were, um, when I was researching Asian pears last night, they were talking about it helps with bronchitis, asthma, or dry coughs. So really, really good. If you are sick, get yourself an Asian pear. You can eat it or juice it. Um, I really like to eat them too, because they're crunchy, crunchy and sweet. They're high in fiber. Um, which is good for a lot of things, but it'll help you um, with bowel movements. Uh, also, they boost your immune health. And what do you know? They're high in vitamin K, C, by, or copper, and potassium. Now, copper helps you with the production of collagen, 
and red blood cells, which is kind of anti-aging too. So very good for your skin, but um, also good for your vanity too. Potassium helps you um, contract and um, it helps counteract high sodium contents in your life. Okay, Asian pear, really good. If you've never had one, um, they're usually over by the pears in the grocery store. You can also get them at any like Chinese super or Chinese um, supermarket. Okay, last thing that's new are green grapes. Mm. Okay, so there's green grapes and red grapes. The ones you get at the grocery store are table grapes. The ones that they make, which are not um, the grapes that they make wine, or wine with. There's wine grapes and table grapes. Not that important for you to know, but um, just so you, if you were like, I want to make wine at home, don't buy the don't buy the grapes at the grocery store. They're not going to work. Um, grapes, most of their benefits come from the compound polyphenols, and polyphenols give grapes their vibrant color, but they also um, help with the antioxidants that fight free radicals. And the polyphenols of, are found in the mainly in the skin and the pulp which is great because we're juicing them today. And um, so that's gonna like break the cell walls in the skin and in the pulp. It's a little bit harder to break the cell wall when you're just chewing something. Um, you'd have to chew it for like 10 years sometimes to really get in there and get all the benefits um, in the cells of the fruit or vegetable. Um, I just lost my train of thought. Okay, so grapes are also have anti-inflammatory effects, which is great. Regular eating, regularly eating grapes may also help protect retina deterioration. So they're good for your eyes. They said though, if you already have like eye problems, that it's not gonna like reverse anything, but it's really good for strengthening your eyes. So if you tend to have, you know, bad eyes in your family, eat more grapes. They're also high in vitamin K and they reduce oxidative stress in the brain that can lead to aging. So um, in other words, it can boost your memory. Good for your mind, grapes are. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. They were talking about how raisins, um, which is just a dried up grape, raisins are actually higher in antioxidants than grapes are but they're also higher in sugar though too. So you wanna be careful with just like munching on raisins because um, they're higher in sugar and carbohydrates, but they're still really good for you too. So raisins are kind of one of those forgotten um, snacks. I feel like I ate a bunch of raisins as a, as a kid, or maybe not a bunch, but more than I do now. I don't ever eat raisins really. I put them in like a quinoa salad every once in a while with some sunflower seeds, but um, that's about it. I don't really eat them that often. All right, let's uh, let's get started juicing. Check out on the stream here. Oh, that was my hip. I don't know if you guys can see that. My hip just popped. But hey, hey, couldn't find an Asian pear yesterday. Um. Okay, Asian pears, like, when, in the H-E-B that I shopped at, um, they were, they have, like, a, the apple section, and then they have, like, pears, and then they're right in the, like, top corner of the pear section. So they are kind of hard to find. They're going to be uh, looking like a pear, but round. You know, pears are normally, like, kind of, like, triangle-shaped almost, um, but they're going to be in the pear, that's going to be like a round looking pear. That's going to look like an apple. And no, Carla, this one is not organic. They didn't have any organic ones. I would have bought it if I, God, I mean, who knows how, it probably would have been five bucks if it was organic. But no, uh, they didn't even have that option. So I didn't do it. I didn't get it, I mean. Okay, I didn't get an organic pear. Let's do the lime first. Yeah. 
Now, oh, yay. <laughs> now, this is going to be, I'm curious. I haven't done two lines in anything for a long time, but really that was my motive to put the coconut water in the juice because this is another little tip. Anytime um, your juice is too tart or if you didn't get enough quantity of juice, add coconut water to it. And um, it kind of boosts any of the benefits that are already like in your juice, but it also is extra hydration and it doesn't add too intense of a flavor to anything. Coconut water is pretty mild. Now yesterday I was gonna be even more adventurous and I was gonna get a young coconut and uh, chop it open on the dang show today, but they didn't have any young coconuts. They only had the brown coconuts, which are, <laughs> which are the harder ones to open. They're like the ones with a really hard shell. Now I can open them, I know how to, but it's not pretty and it takes me a long time. So I was like, okay, this is just not, not gonna happen today. And I didn't have time to go to that awesome Asian market over, um, God, what is that street? Oh, it's on the airport. But, uh, so I didn't have time to go today. But if you do have time to go, Get a young coconut, if you know how to open it. If you know how to safely open it. Don't get crazy. So what I did instead is I got one of my favorite coconut waters and I got a coconut water with pulp in it. I like the pulp in coconut water because it's just coconut meat. And it's almost like having a little snack too. So um, the one that I got is the brand Amy and Brian. And it's the yellow can which has the pulp in it. Amy and Brian's are are good, and they're not that expensive. You can get like uh, two for four dollars at HEB. Okay, now for those of you that are watching that are not in Texas, you probably don't know what I'm always talking about when I say HEB. HEB is like our local. Um, grocery store here. It has, what would I compare it to like in Idaho? In Idaho, it's kind of like um, Albertsons. There's a lot of Albertsons. Albertsons headquarters is in Boise. And HEB is like mainly a Texas store. Um, they have a lot. I mean, there's an HEB, we probably have 15 HEBs in Austin and they're all very different. Whoa, <laughs> it's a squirt and lime juice everywhere. Yeah, that's another thing that, that uh, another point, make sure that you wash your juicer right away and um, make sure that you wipe down all of the surfaces because you never know, like when you're making juice, like stuff will spray everywhere and you don't want to learn the hard way that you left some lime juice over on your counter because then you'll come in and, and there will be a bunch of ants on it. So be very diligent about wiping down your surfaces. Um, well, A, to be clean, but also um, to keep little pests away. All right. Lime extraordinaire. I don't even know what this juice is going to be called. Lime time? Okay, more comments to respond to. The spice girl buns, yes. I know, I was thinking that too. Um, I need your, what did I say? Lime fruit? <laughs> awesome. My lime fruit, I don't know what that is, but cool. Well, keep watching the show and you'll learn. Maybe I'll learn what mine for it is. All right. Ooh. Okay. Also, make sure that you identify who you are on the um, on the live stream on your comment because some of you I don't know what your 
handle your what your handle is, who you are. I saw Aaron, I saw Carla. I'll look a little closer um, after the show too. I can review your comments. I just figured that out last time. Get those seeds out. There we go. Yeah, this is a new hairdo. Well, actually, it's not brand new. I've done this before, but because you guys know, I've done I do the double buns a lot, but not double buns and half down. Ooh, we're getting wild. <laughs> Dang, the seeds are just hidden in there. Well, if you see, it's crunchy and juicy. Asian pears are one of my favorite fruits. I really like pears. Um, but sometimes I don't like the texture of pears. So I'll get an Asian pear when I'm feeling, when I'm feeling rich. <laughs> They're a little expensive. This is going to go back in the fridge right now so it's cold but has no juice. All right. Let's get started. Yes, I'm drinking coffee this morning. Mm. Butter coffee. Sleep going in first thing. There. I used to eat a lot of grapes. I'm out, but today's motivating me to maybe phase them back in because they're good. Now they've been washed, of course. Mm. Yes. All right, let's put some kale in there. They're a great little, like, sweet treat. And they're like eating a popsicle, like little, a bunch of little popsicles. So good. My friend Megan in um, Fort Lane taught me that a long time ago. Back in high school. Smelling super green, y'all. Mm. More grapes. Takes a while for the machine to process the kale. That's why I, um, at the beginning of the juicing, it, uh, I go slower with the machine because if, if you try to shove too much stuff into it, the machine starts to make like chunky juice. So you have to like let it catch up. A masticating juicer is slower than a centrifuge, but makes better juice. Okay, last piece of kale going 
on end. We did three pieces of kill, which is more than I normally do. So this is going to be dark. Dark green, a little bit bitter, but um, like I said, the coconut water is going to smooth it out. Okay, we're almost there. Woo. Give it a little break. Why do you have react? Yes, thank you. That's the best place to call it. Ninety-nine Ranch. I still haven't been in it, but I always only hear amazing things about it. I can't stop eating this grapes. to run the rest of the uh, fruit through, and then we'll run the pulp through, and then we'll add our coconut water, and then we're done. Oh my god, this smells really intense. Ooh, this is going to be dark, dark, uh, dark and bitter, but I tend to, actually not even bitter, it's going to be tart. Tart is a better word. I tend to like tart juices. Bitter, I've talked about in the past, I don't like. Bitter is not a profile, beautiful, not a profile, a taste profile that I enjoy. All right. Two more grapes. There's not a lot of pulp because most of the fruit was was water, was liquid. <laughs> Let's run because we only have a little bit of pulp in there, so we're just gonna run that through and then we're gonna call it quits. the top <clears throat> with coconut water. You shake this one up because it has pulp. Really any coconut water will do. Any one that's your favorite. Just try to stay away from ones with, um, look at the ingredients. Make sure it doesn't have any added sugar to it. That is unnecessary. 
Sala de Siga. Now, I could just drink this like it is. Um, but I don't want to. <laughs> I want to I do this today. I haven't added coconut water to a juice in a while. All right. Ooh, it's so pretty. Cheers. Yeah. Mm. I feel like I have green juice all over my face, but I can't wipe it because I have lipstick on. I am shocked. Just as I suspected. Well, not just as I suspected, actually. I was thinking that it was going to be really, really tart from two limes. But it's actually with that coconut water, it's like so good together like this. Wow, that's really good. Okay, like, man, I guess, you know, juicing for eight years straight, you kind of just have these combinations in your head that work, and they work, you know? They work in my mind, and they end up working here. Proud of myself for this one. That was a, like, like, um, going out on a limb. I'm like, this might be disgusting. <laughs> uh, to be completely honest, I thought this could have the potential to be disgusting. But I knew that it was going to be good. So, always trust your gut. That's the lesson for today. Trust your gut. You know, really listen. Like, when you know something, um, be confident about it. Cool. I'm excited. I hope you guys enjoy this juice as much as I do. Like, this is... This is lovely. I'm going to make this more often. Uh, parsley, kale, two limes, an Asian pear, green grapes. I think it would be good with red grapes, too. And coconut water. Man. All right. Like I say at the end of every show, stay positive. Find the good. There's always bad. There's always bad, you know? And you can focus on that if you'd like, or you can focus on the positive things and look at the silver lining. Find the brighter aspect to it because, um, yes, there's a time to be, you know, to acknowledge the negative, but you don't want to dwell on it because it will eat you alive. And you might be stuck in that right now, and that's okay. Don't be mad at yourself. Just find something like making juice or doing yoga or doing breathing exercises or even taking a walk or gardening or whatever it is. Find something that makes you happy because it's up to you to create your happiness. Um, even if that sounds cliche to you, I don't care because it's definitely true. All right. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm going to check real quick on any comments that I have missed. Oh, I can't see. Um, ooh, Pearson. Hi. Uh, I have created all the recipes so far have either came from me or a friend. Um, oh, thanks, Ellis, for watching. I appreciate it. Kendall, yeah, you finally watched. <laughs> Yay. Um, something instead of coconut water, Carla, I would say maybe add a cucumber to your juice, because that's very mild as well and alkalizing, just like cucumber, or I mean, just like coconut water. Um, if you don't like that, then I would just say... Um, maybe add an apple. And then, Erin, um, yay, thank you for watching. Ah, I love you guys so much. Um, we'll have another Tessie Juice show uh, next Wednesday. And I'm also giving it on YouTube 
as you can see right now, I am also filming for YouTube too. So more information on that coming soon. Love you, bye. Love you. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more. Oops, it's not a touch screen.